Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm in Montana painting this week. Um, my wife is actually from here and I lived here for cumulatively about 10 years. So we, uh, we came up and I'm at the uh, First People's Buffalo Jump. And uh, Montana is full of wildfires right now. So you really can't see like that way. Um, on any given day, you would see the Rocky Mountains. Um, and uh, that way is kind of looking toward Helena. That way is looking toward Bozeman. You can just make out some mountains in the distance there, and then you would have a little belt mountains back to the east. And you can hardly see any of those. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of smoke in the air, and so I'd stop by the uh, the Buffalo Jump. This is really cool place. Um, the uh, Indians would drive the they would drive the buffalo off the plane here and to the to the buffalo it just looked like the like everything just continued on and so they would uh, obviously go off the edge and plunge to their death but um, good for the Indian bad for the buffalo but anyway um, yeah so I just wanted to check it out and I thought maybe I might actually set up and paint here, so um, we're going to have a look. All right. So here's the scene that I've chosen. Um, I really like the way these rocks over here are like kind of angling up. And I've got this little flat area right in here and then everything just kind of falls off toward that butte in the background. And just the very faint mountains really because of the smoke but it certainly adds a lot of uh, atmosphere. So this is kind of the the basic composition here so this little trail uh, I'll probably wind it that way just kind of around this little corner right here as if it was going around there rather than down off the edge so all right so I'm gonna get set up I'm kind of a uh, uh, the goal these cliffs up here are beautiful too they're really catching some nice light uh, <clears throat> I may have to come back here and do uh, do another painting of uh, some of this cliff work. Uh, but today I wanted something a little more panoramic, so um, the main goal is to avoid the rattlesnakes. Uh, as soon as the things really start to warm up, we'll keep our eyes open, make sure we haven't parked next to any. And uh, yeah. Other than that, there's a really nice trail getting down here, so uh, let's get set up and uh, let's do some painting. Alright, so I got a sketch going here, um, and you can see uh, I've got that butte. had to do it a couple of times, but it basically sits right in here, just missing the edge right there. And then, so this, this just gets wiped out back here. Um, and then, uh, then we've got these kind of distant mountains that are in behind it. Over here, uh, we have a couple more humps in here, but um, so those are very, very close to the sky color. And the sky has a kind of a greenish blue to it. Um, so I'm going to run with that as it is, and then you can you can see kind of my landmass here comes comes across here and kind of falls off down to a flatter area right down below here. Um, and then we've got these rocks in here. Uh, a couple of rocks over here, um, nice rock uh, right here that kind of anchors this, uh, that, you know, the trail does a good job of getting you in the painting, but this one actually acts as, as a nice anchor here as well. And uh, <clears throat> tomorrow I'm going to go to the uh, C.M. Russell Museum and I'll be able to share some of that with you. And there's some 
some things that he did in his painting that I'm that I'm actually trying to do in, on on purpose. And um, he would use uh, various things in the foreground: a drop saddle, uh, <clears throat> a dead animal, um, all kind of things that would just sort of take up space in kind of a large foreground area. So I really liked that that, uh, that, that group of rocks was right there because I wanted to use that in this foreground area to sort of anchor it. So yeah, look at uh, just how amazing this is right now. Um, even though the smoke is preventing some visibility, it still creates some nice atmosphere and a great separation from this foreground to that background. So let's get some paint on here. All right. Okay, so I got this blocked in now, and uh, now I just want to take a take a step back and um, look at some of the relationships. This one's going to really require a foreground. I'm going to work. I'm going to work this area first, and then that's going to kind of set the tone for what kind of values I'm going to end up with back here. But I'm going to be like ten, maybe ten percent of what this is already. So it's going to be really light. And you can already see that this also has the value of this has to come get a lot lot lighter too because it's really secondary to the sky and it's it's uh pretty close uh i mean it's it's really like we got the sky and then uh this one and this one are just kind of in a gradation um and then we get into all this so i'm going to work this first and then work my way into the background after that the sun's not going to be a problem because it's going to go this way all day, so um, I'll be in shadow here uh, and not much is going to change out there. So, okay, a little water break and uh, we'll keep rocking. So I've got some basic, some basic values established here, um, and uh, it's just in the, kind of in these rock formations, and that that is kind of my lightest value uh, in the whole thing. So I don't know if you can see that highlight right there, but then I was just going to go in with a with a really I've got a really light uh, value that I just want to get established right away. I'm just using some yellow ochre. Um, and it just sits right along this edge back here. There's kind of a kind of a flat area. Kind of runs right out to the edge. And it's right along. Right along there, and then it runs right along here. And 
and that's pretty light and then it's also but it's got a little uh when it gets down in here it's got a little bit of a burnt sienna in it um this area that sits right down in here it's not quite as light with a touch of sienna and that's just scattered all out through here <clears throat> and for now I'm just kind of scumbling it in just to get it established it's kind of got these really nice kind of dark green bushes in here and then it reverts to right down here where the lights really hitting it it ends up being that really uh, that really light color like over here uh, maybe there's still a touch of sienna in that as well um, get that established here And we've got that same grass uh, that's kind of sitting along the edge of this right here. And I'll have to go back and get what's behind it, but I'm just kind of laying it in just for, just so I can see it, kind of how it relates at the moment. And I can see already that uh, this path is just not dark enough. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to scrape some of this scrape some of this paint out of here so it's just not overpowering whatever I put on here. Um, sometimes you gotta scrape. Nothing wrong with that. That's the beauty of working in oil. Got too much paint on there, I just take it off. Alright, so just got to go back to some basics here and figure out what this color is. So, so I'm just going to take, uh, see if I can show you this, um, maybe. If you don't mind, if the camera just shakes a little bit, but I'm going to take some burnt sienna and I just want to see what I get when I just lighten it. So I end up with a color that is actually a heck of a lot closer to what I need than that. It just needs a bit of blue in it. It's almost a gray. A gray brown. And I'm looking for this relationship between these two right here. And that's way closer. So that's the direction I need to go. That's just using some ultramarine blue and some uh, burnt sienna. And I might just put a touch more blue in that, especially down in here. Now we've got rocks and stuff that when we come back, we'll be, we'll be laying in here as well. Right now, I just want to change the tone of it. It's all about relationship. It's uh, how this relates to that and uh, everything else. So, okay, now that I've got that better established, um, now I'm going to jump to this background and uh, get that settled in. And then we'll be able to work over top of it. So, Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, just love this landscape. Um, it's probably, uh, I don't know, 15 miles or more, probably 15 miles to where those mountains are in the distance right there. Uh, and when it's not smoky, you can see 60, 70 miles. Uh, it's pretty incredible. 
Okay, um, hopefully we get one of those days where this smoke kind of clears out a little bit. But uh, we're going to find something to paint no matter what. But now, back to this. All right, so I'm coming in now and just adding some, uh, just adding some fine, kind of some fine detail, just a little bit um, here and there, <clears throat> mostly around these uh, edges here, where some of these uh, bushes needed some definition because they're just kind of a, 
just kind of color blobs at the moment, so. Just mixing a really thin uh, kind of pool of a uh, little yellow ochre, a little sienna in it. And I'll just, so I've got a couple different tones going. Uh, keeping it really wet. <clears throat> and I'm using a rigger, uh, but I'm using the very flat the very flat edge of the rigger, so. Flat meaning I make it flat like that. something heavier I just lay it over on the side all right so I'm just gonna go through and uh, I'll work on just a little bit of detail and uh, then tighten up the rocks just a little bit and then that'll be uh, that'll be it for the field um, then once this kind of settles in it's a uh, really soupy right now um, I've got I was gonna pick up maybe that distant tree out there and just a couple of these little houses and a couple of little tree lines kind of out in the distance um, just to show some scale so Okay, let me uh, continue on and kind of get this uh, tightened up and, and then we'll, uh, I think we'll call this one good. All right. All right, so that's it for this painting. Um, I'll show you what I've got here. Hopefully you can see that. I know the sun's kind of in the way, but um, it's uh, some of the rock greens are, they're kind of glowing a little bit. So I'll have to uh, kind of adjust those later, but I've got a lot of paint on there. So um, if you can see the texture, but there's a lot, <laughs> a lot than more than normal. Um, so I'm gonna stop there. And this uh, just just amazing. Uh, I think I'm going to come back here tomorrow and paint from a different perspective, uh, maybe down a little bit lower. So uh, yeah, thanks for uh, hanging out with me. Uh, you know I appreciate it, and uh, I will catch you later.